And our thing is, well, your thing has always been don't sack Ten Hag. Never sack him. I have, I have to admit, this is the bit where people have been saying it to me in the comments. I'm so glad that you're here. I, absolutely. And I will, look, my hands are up, bro. Yeah. My hands are up. Flip, flop, flex, all of that. You're a disgrace. I'll take whatever things people want to say. I I'm, don't really care. Yeah. Like, I, like I'm cool with it. Like, I can accept it. I just want my team to win. Yeah. You know, I was battling so long, like, with where I was at. Get yeah. called sitting on the fence. Yeah. Get called, why do you want him in? Like, it doesn't, like, you've had to deal with that. Yeah. And my thing is now, once I saw what I saw and the context of how I saw it, and we were in this week where the reviewers began and the inquest is, has started as to whether Ineos are going to keep him. I just think that Eric deserves the chance to right the wrongs um, that he did. He deserves to fix the sins of the past. He deserves to sort of, you know, try fix it. I'm telling you now, this man, this job is planned. This guy knows what he's doing. He's going to do better next season. And he's been preparing for this it's not a mistake yeah my thing is um i agree i agree with everything you said yeah. there um i i got it wrong yeah I, I i i that 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 bit of like not really understanding well look look because comes to bump some people can say oh but it's one game and now you're just undoing all of the you know the things that happened in the season and i'm not i'm not forgetting them mm -hmm. like i'm under no illusion I'm under no illusion that, like I said, if, if Eric stays, which I hope he does get the chance to do, yeah. if he stays, bro, the scrutiny's on, bro. Like, if, yeah. the, if the style of play doesn't Im, Im, improve, but more importantly, the results the in results the league flex. don't improve. Yeah, if, if, if results don't improve, That's it. then he's, uh, he's still going to be on the chopping block. He's still going to be on the chopping block. But when it's all said and done in football, even in adversity, medals and trophies count for stuff. Absolutely. They, they, they really, really do. Like the things that like, people will remember this season for Man United for like a lot of wrong reasons. Remember they when they finished eighth and got minus goal difference and stuff like that. But even if he wasn't at Wembley, but I'm just talking because of experience that like I was there, I'm still going to remember 2024 in May that I was at Wembley. That's what you're going to remember. Jumping up and down, beating Man City, seeing Kev, as a Man United fan, I'm going to see Kevin De Bruyne walking off. I'm going to see Haaland in pocket. Look, you can say, that's again, everything I'm about to say on this pod today, yeah, whoever has been at the Eric Tenor can easily just say, where was this energy? That's fine. That's yeah. fine. But I don't care. But not all fans are the same, Flex. Exactly. You know this is how I support the not team. Not all fans are the same. I go on the up and downs. Yep. Like, it took me a while to, like, when I got to the Palace one and the Coventry one, the yep. Coventry, then the Palace, I went, I just can't see how I can turn it around. Yeah, maybe yeah. it was short-sighted of me. But what I will say is, yeah. just by keeping it, it doesn't mean he will a million percent turn it around, but he deserves the chance Thank to. you very much. That's what I'm on. Thank you Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not ignoring how bad the season's been. Yeah. It's been awful. But what it does do, the spotlight will be on Eric, and rightly so. You've had a very bad season, right, in terms of the Premier League. So next year, if he stays, which hopefully I think I, I want him to, mm -hmm. the spotlight's on. If you don't show anything by... October, November, December, everyone's going to be within their rights. Say, look, we tried, it's still not working. We're still shipping loads of goals. We're still open in midfield. We're still getting beat up by mid-table teams. So It won't be a second though, will it? Because it'll be the end of his contract. Oh, well, at the end of the year. Yeah. But they could still sack him before that. And no, go, they right, could. October, That's it because, let's go but I don't think it's going to get that bad. Honestly, I don't think it's going to get yeah. that bad. I, I really think, Flex, yeah, what some of the stuff you're saying and the lessons learned. Ten Hag is a manager... He's going to be, he's very focused. So there's the moments for each thing that he's talking about. You know when he was like trying to give him, give us a breakdown of your season? I can't. I'm still in season. I'm not going to give you a breakdown of what mm. have I learned, what I have not learned, this, that, and the other. I'm not doing any of those things. We could still be Why? in Europe. Why? Because we could still, win a we cup. could still be in Europe. There's, I, I'll give you a full assessment when the time is over to give an assessment. And one of the major things he was telling us is my centre backs here. I think people laughed at how crucial. Funny enough, yeah, what I was looking to, what I was hoping from Ten Hag, he said in the final game of the season, when he got interviewed, he said, well, look, you can't change things up. Players have a bad game. There's nobody else to compete. There's, there's not enough strong competition. Listen, I still see the argument in it. I do, mm -hmm. in terms of, okay, we're not going to base it off of one game. Our sporting project is this. We believe that manager X or Y is our guy, not Eric. We've had a chat with him. It's great that we won the FA Cup, but 
the way that we want to do things as well, he's actually pushed back and said, well, I can't work like that. Like, mm-hmm. was this mate? we can't rule that out as well. I know, like, he said he wants to stay. So that's, that's fine. And he said he's had good conversations. So really, it looks like he Eric, he Eric's part's anymore. done. Eric's done no, his part. Yeah, the, but what, yeah he's, done, he's done his part. But what I'm saying is Ineos can still listen to that and feel like, I'm not, I don't agree with this. I'm saying from their point of view, yeah. they can still say that style of play, how we envisage the players that we want to buy, the type of football we want to play. Mm-hmm. He has to listen to us and do X, Y, Z. We don't think he's going to be the right man. Well, it's short, it'll now, be short sides. Ab- absolutely, I agree. But they could still think yeah. that and go, nope, we're, 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 we're strong within our thing. United fans might hate us for it at this point, but when we get manager X or Y, whoever it's going to be, um, we believe we'll be better for it. And my God, will they have to show that fairly quickly if they get rid of this man? Because I'll tell you what, Winning back-to-back trophies, having one good season, one bad, having all the fans on, most fans on fans, side. He's got a lot in a the lot. stadium. In the stadium, in the what stadium, did it sound 100%. like? What did it sound like? In, especially at Wembley, it was what did it sound it like? It was like there wasn't even a question about the manager, who yeah. the manager should be. There you go. Do you know what I mean? And also, what we did see though is the turnaround from Marcus Rashford, and it was a pivot, bro. It went from had good conversations then planning for season two. I don't know, but if they don't want me, I take myself and I go win trophies, like. More for them then. Yeah. He changed to like, I win stuff. I've won stuff for the last five seasons. Yeah, that's a like, good reminder. In, in my type, three years at Ajax, two years at Man United, all I've been doing is winning. Arts Leacher. Like, he's been, I've just been winning. Sometimes it got Anthony, to pop out and show. Anthony's had a shit time. He's just been winning trophies with this guy. Sometimes it's got to pop out and show. See what I'm saying? So he changed that, and I quite liked that. I did. And you liked the, the fighting back. Yeah, I didn't like that. That's why when I was, you know, when I was in my feelings a bit like saying, why say that we played good when we didn't though? And fi- like, get me mm-hmm. on board by saying, this ain't good enough. I want to fix this next season. Like, say stuff like that. And I know it's all, that's all in the past. But remember now. Swan said he's lying because remember when he yeah. talked about the Crystal Palace game? Yeah. Told us exactly what it is. Yeah. In the presser on the day, he said, yeah, we had our moments. I don't think we should have. He's saying mad stuff. Can he say at MUTV? He said, we're shit against Palace. Yeah. So he will, so I, I, I get it. I do get it now. There's a moment for, there's, there's a moment for everything. Yeah. That's the key. But it's like, I, I just think that, what we liked, and this is the only reason that Tuchel became a candidate for me that I thought I wouldn't be angry is. at. I would, but the only reason why I said I wouldn't be angry at Tuchel, yeah, is because there was bite and fight on the touchline. Yeah. And there's bite and fight everywhere he is. Have a little look more. Just have yeah. a look, see what it's like. Do you know what I mean? So, look, that's our message. I put my hands up. I got it wrong. You're fair to do that. I'm fair to do that. Um, Say what you want in the comments. You I think you need to. I, I really want you to change your opinion on Amrabat, though, because even when you said that his game and stuff, mm. I feel like. But I said I'm happy for him to be in the squad. though. No, but I feel like even in the final. I said could, he was wicked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh no, the final. I said he was immense. 